So this is the integral of uh, the integral of, uh, evaluation what is taken on the right hand side and uh, accordingly the if say here uh, z1 z2 are the limits accordingly the z1 z2 limits can be set on the right hand side This already we have worked out. So this integrand on the right hand side, which is of the same form what we have written here. So here alpha equal to one and beta equal to three. And once we insert in the pure equation, so the right hand side comes out to be 1 by alpha equal to 1 minus C square. Z is there, so this we are replacing by theta. So this is the integration. So this quantity is written here. And therefore, once we bring all these things from the different side, we try to this will be equal to n times t minus tau. And on the right hand side, we have this quantity here. Where the first term is nothing but t, and the second term this happens to be this kind of So this we will have a look of this uh, while solving the problem we will find it useful. L is the quantity A times 1 minus C square, so this becomes 1 minus C square whole square. is to the power j to the power 3 by 2 times a times 1 minus and this curve and h is nothing but mu times l under root 
and this quantity is also equal to a therefore this you can say that c by 2 and equal to the power 1 by 2 From the previous phase, when we have uh, this quantity is equal, to, this quantity is nothing but equal to n. So this quantity is equal to n. You can see that this is n times t minus t and this part is for your to be done. This is equal to e. Already we have proved this part. 2 times tan inverse 1 minus e tan theta by 2. So this quantity, uh, this was worked out earlier. This part perhaps we have not done it, but uh, this is simple using the earlier calculations we have done. So we can see that uh, the same problem which can be done in multiple ways. So quickly we uh, do rest of the part. Already we have done a lot of uh, things in this river. So what we need to do is that uh, we use the relationship we have developed earlier in the auxiliary circle case. So we have a for c is this quantity and this will be equal to quantity from here to here this is a and plus this quantity is r so r cos theta. You should remember this figure, this will be very useful while working out various problems. r equal to l by 1 plus c cos theta so a times 1 minus c a square divided by 1 plus 2 cos theta and cos theta. And of course, if we solve it, so this becomes a plus a square cos theta plus a cos theta minus a square cos theta. Sir? Huh. Sir, that should be a plus r cos theta, right? Ah, r. This is r cos theta. So, uh, we take a as common and uh, then this becomes a plus cos theta divided by 1 plus and the sin e can be written in terms of the cancels out, so we can drop the quantity. This one must be the verdict.
Sorry for interruption. So inserting this quantity here, this is the first hill and it's a given here. So once we insert it and after two simplification, this can be reduced to I am taking a shortcut here, sine theta 1 minus 2 per under root divided by 1 plus 2 plus 2. So now going back to the original equation we have written here, this part. You can see 1 minus c e square sin theta by 1 plus c e plus theta is nothing but sin e from this part. This is your sin e. So this will be replaced by sin e, which we have done here in this part. And this e then comes here in this part. So this part is e times sin e. And this already we have done the work while we uh, reduced and written time theta by 2 in terms of uh, 1 minus e divided by 1 plus e under root time theta by 2. So this we have already worked out, so I will not go into that. Otherwise, if you want, this can be used. This equation, whatever we have developed here, directly you can utilize it and uh, write it. I will show this part also. Uh, cos e already we have written. And the uh, sin e already we have. So we know the expansion of this in the terms of the tan theta by 2. And this also in terms of tan theta by 2 as a function of. So divide this and then uh, it will aid you. Uh, and after the using component or dividend, you will get to the same place. And uh, sorry, so this to be written in terms of tan e by 2 and tan e also to be written in terms of tan e by 2. And once dividing and uh, then solving it, ultimately you will get the same result as we have written here in this case. So this step I am skipping, you can check yourself. Okay, for the hyperbolic trajectory, e greater than 1. In that context, we have 1 plus e plus theta whole square. The other part is on the right hand side or the left hand side uh, as we have written here. This part it remains as it is. So last time the equation we have written once we use this so it comes here in this format. Replacing this uh, this was the alpha and this is being replaced by beta alpha and beta. We are here in this case, beta is greater than 1 and alpha is being set to 1. So that is, e is greater than 1. So this is for the other case. For the ellipse, we have e less than 1. So we are getting another result. So as per the standard integral we have written, By two. And this result is very important in doing trajectory transfer. 
solving the rendezvous problem. Two satellites are moving in the same or in the different orbit, and one has to catch the other. Okay, so how much impulse should be given so that the one satellite goes and catches the other? So this requires a proper planning, matching the time. Okay, here in this case, uh, if I show it here, we do have two satellites, one at A, another at B. And we want that A should catch B at the point C. So what is required? That whatever the time B takes to reach C, and obviously it will be according to the ellipse in which it is moving. The same time must be taken by A to move from A to C, but it cannot happen in the same orbit. So therefore it has to go in a faster orbit. A hyperbolic orbit can be chosen to attack. Okay, or depending on the situation, whatever. So this needs few iterative calculation. So it has to reach from this place to this place and it will go along this path. So by the time B comes from B to C, A will come from A to C. So this time has to be matched. And this is where this equation becomes very useful in solving this problem. So we'll do trajectory transfer problem later on. So here in this case, the left hand side is here, h by l square times, and then if this, we bring this part on the left hand side, so on the right hand side this whole thing will be perfect. And this quantity, if you do the previous calculation, what we have done, this will get reduced to mu by it is on the road and t minus tau equal to n times t minus tau where that is the mean angular velocity once we are writing here in this form we are assuming that a is greater than zero we are as for hyperbola we know that a is the quantity which is less than zero so we take a magnitude of that and insert here in this place because already we have described it for each better than this. Now for this part, whatever is detected, we can arrive at the same equation through some other method, which we have earlier done. So before we do this, we need to look what format this exactly is. So using that format, then we will be able to uh, work out the problem. And for this, we also need to look into the hyperbola little uh, in more detail. Till now, we have not done hyperbola except for uh, very elementary concept, but we need to expand and work it out. So this quantity, what we have written here, uh, n times t minus tau, this can be written as where this is called hyperbolic anomaly. So mean anomaly in the case of hyperbola this is n times t minus tau equal to e sub. So you can see the difference. For the ellipse, we have written n t minus tau equal to e minus e sin e, where e is eccentric anomaly. Here in this case, this turns out to be hyperbolic anomaly, and also you can see the changes which are done here. This term, it goes 
on this side and this term it comes on this side and E has been replaced by F. Okay, so before we get to the geometric method, we will do this problem uh, because the geometric method is a little longer and uh, I will have to invest a lot of time for doing that. So first we will do the analytical method of working out this problem and then we will get back tomorrow to that problem. Ajit, please be in time. Okay. Otherwise, you don't get anything. If you are not on time, so, uh, half of the things are lost. Yes, I am sorry. So, hyperbolic case we were discussing. In that case, let us write without any further discussion that R is given by. 1 minus C cross hyperbolic rate. This is the focus uh, on the hyperbola mini point with the R and F is the hyperbolic phenomenon. So what this F exactly is how it is represented in the case of the hyperbola will take up tomorrow. Now let us start with this and without going into the geometry, we'll look at this problem analytically. The approach is the same, writing r equal h equal to r cos b, h is square equal to r cos b dot r cos b. This we assume as A and this as B cross C. So this becomes R cross B. R dot B is this quantity is nothing but R times R dot and we have already looked into this while doing the elliptical case. And this is your HST. And here we need to insert this quantity. For that we need R dot. If we differentiate this, this becomes A times C and hyperbolic. So the first hyperbolic h we are describing as e to the power a plus e to the power minus h divided by 2. So once we differentiate, this gets to this format, which is nothing but sine hyperbolic. So we need to insert here and then work it out.
Okay, so we need to insert here and solve this problem. H square equal to R square P square minus R times R dot whole square. This is mu time cell, this quantity equal to mu time cell. So we accordingly write here and see while we are writing, I am not writing a times e square minus one. I have written just like this, where e is a negative quantity and e is greater than one. H, H is a quantity, H square is a quantity which always be greater than zero and H is also greater than zero because this is the magnitude of the angular momentum vector. So this becomes mu times a one minus e square. H square equal to mu times l, and this quantity is l. And on the right hand side, we will have r square. V square. We apply the this viva integral. Again, here we are not writing the plus sign. We are using the minus sign itself in this place because we are taking A as a negative quantity. And this becomes 2 mu r minus mu r square divided by u. Now we can insert the value for the r and r dot etc. and solve this equation. So the r expression we have already written on uh, right in the beginning. And this I have written without any proof that r can be written in this way. R dot we have written on the previous page as minus a times c sin i for a value a times a. This is the required and this power of c. Expand it and limit to check it out. Okay, so here the quantity is uh, 2 mu r, r equal to k times 1 minus e, so here a is missing, so 2 mu a, 2 mu a p, and then so here the p s square term will come, so this gets reduced to mu times a, 1 minus to me for cycle bullet here. The carry of this is taking the unit form. What we can observe that this term and this term will cancel out. 
some other simplification can be done. So next step is we do it. Minus this quantity, let us say this quantity is V square. So this just cancels out, and then we have this quantity, this quantity, this quantity it will cancel out. So what we get from this test? Taking it on the left hand side. We can utilize the relationship here. Cos hyperbolic square x minus sine hyperbolic. So cos hyperbolic square x minus one is equal to sine hyperbolic square. I am sorting here in this place, I will become 3 square, I can go. And I can go to this square. We have to keep the sign here and find for the memories of the Uh, go to the next page and you can get all this problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We will expand this also and uh, then look into the problem. And this is me and I'm not the really good. Sir, can you once again explain how you got this uh, right hand side, this a square equal to 1 minus e cos e into... Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, you are very late. This way you gain nothing. Sir, sir, this right hand side part, 1 mm -hmm. minus e cos e. So this calculation is a little lengthy. Uh, uh, no, uh, just sir, I could uh, follow please. up to that. Okay, that followed up to this place. Yes, yes. So, uh, what we did, till here it's okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, thereafter we cancelled some of the terms and then we wrote this term as A. In fact, R times R dot we are writing as A. Capital A. So, this is nothing but A square. So this I have written as minus a square per shortcut because uh, it's a difficult to carry here all the terms. So after cancelling out all the terms and bringing this on the left hand side, this particular part, so this becomes new a a square times cos of hyperbolic a square f minus 1 and uh, on the right hand side then we have minus a square. So this is minus a square. Uh, either a square equal to mu a e a square to the circle and then we get here in this Is it okay? Yes, sir. Sir, inside sir inside a there should be uh, the small a one. Inside For a? R. Sir, inside that capital A in the last equation, uh, there should be a small a. For r, r, r equal to a into one yeah. c part. Oh, the, this part, yeah. yeah. I will do it. Okay, so here we have uh, a times one minus c plus hyperbolic a plus a. This letter is getting distorted. We have to start with problem by not even to solve it out. A is sine hyperbolic here times a dot. So we need to expand it and work it out. There is no other way of uh, doing it. But some of the terms can be dropped out and we can do it here itself. Just like this is the E term is coming, so E square can be dropped out. And then we have here A is appearing. So we can write here A4 times E square. Start this in out and get here. We also this new times.
So this quantity we have here as we are looking at minus uh, we use this expression cos hyperbolic square f minus p hyperbolic square f equal to one. So we are going to get the minus hyperbolic. And then we bring all the terms from the same side and take find hyperbolic square f as one. Find hyperbolic square f equals to one times this. this the sign is sine hyperbolic f e to the power f minus e to the power minus f divided by 2 at f equal to 0 only this quantity is 0 otherwise this is not given if we equate the other part Zero. So we get the other part equal to minus mu by e to in the root plus uh, This quantity is nothing but 1 by 10, where A is a negative quantity, so that your the quantity inside the square root sign is remains positive. From here immediately we can observe that uh, f dot which can be written as df by dt. So f df times 1 minus t for hyperbolic f. This becomes mu by a cube is mean, not uh, here what we have written this quantity is mu mm. by a cube is n and uh, the opposite one we write as is here what we have written t equal to 2 pi and a cube by mu as the time period in the case of the list so 2 pi by t is equal to m equal to mu by a cube under this so this is n so i wrote the project thing here this is just n here in there so from this place, Tf times 1 minus e cos hyperbolic f is equal to m times dt with plus minus sign and integrate it. 
how to be and here f equal to 0 to f so this becomes f minus e and first hyperbolic f if we differentiate sine hyperbolic f so we get first hyperbolic f so this becomes sine hyperbolic and this equal to plus minus n times T minus star T minus star this we have written as n so mean angular velocity in the hyperbolic case so the plus minus sign only thing we have to show here so if we choose minus sign here so this gets reduced to T sign hyperbolic a minus a equal to minus now why to choose this uh, minus sign it will be evident from the expression for f dot if mean angular velocity is positive this quantity is greater than 1 so this turns out to be negative quantity this whole thing so if this is a negative quantity and on the right hand side we have n which is always a positive quantity so we need to choose the minus sign so that this is meaningful okay, so we neglect the plus sign here and choose the minus sign so what is the reasoning here that for a positive n we must have a positive end. Okay, so. just like in the case of the electric ellipse we did it the same logic is applicable here so this way our uh, problem is solved what we were looking for next time we will attempt this problem using the geometry which is very important to understand how the things are happening and moreover we have not looked into the expression how we got r equal to a times 1 minus e first hyperbolic head so this also we need to work out in all these expressions one thing we have used here like the uh, for x square by a square minus y square by p square equal to 1 this is the expression for hyperbola what is called uh, so here x equal to a cos hyperbolic f which satisfies this and y equal to b cos hyperbolic f which satisfies this and if a equal to b equal to 1 then this case is uh, a equal to b equal to 1 this is called the rectangular parabola in this case the eccentricity of the, uh, the rectangular hyperbola eccentricity is equal to root 2 so for a rectangular hyperbola expression is x square minus y square is equal to 1 so we will discuss this part next time it, it may take another two hours to or uh, more than that to complete the geometry part okay so respond to your opinions here.